Hi guys, how are you all doing? I hope all of you are doing fine. And if you're new in my channel, my name is Ems and I'm from South Australia. So guys, today we're here in the kitchen again because again it's raining outside. It's been raining all day. So I decided to just make my project here inside the house. So I'm doing a just a little project, not a big one. So I have some cuttings here that I got from my garden. I have some cuttings and I have some rooted ones. So mostly the succulent I'm using in this arrangement are cuttings. So I have this um, succulent here. And the container that I'm going to use for my arrangement is this uh, strainer. So I got this strainer from my $2 shop. So I need a different size, but I only got two uh, sizes. So, okay, so I have this big one and a medium one so that's what we're going to use so I also need guys a coconut fiber and soil so that's all we need guys so we can start this arrangement that I'm going to do guys I'm going to display it in the garden outdoor so that's why the succulent that I choose are succulents that can put out there without any overhead covers so let's start guys and do this arrangement so I already bent one of them this one here so this one and all we need to do with this strainer is bend it like this bend it like that make sure you bend it well so when you hang this your soil and your plants will not going to spill out so it's just like that so I have already bent the other one so let's start and I also need to bend this one so let's bend this as well now this one is different type, so I don't know if this can be bent. And this one is bigger, bigger one. Oh, not so much. This might trail. Okay, well, that's all right. It bends. Here you go. Right. So let's start with this little one. Okay. So all we need to do guys is we will put our cocoa fiber so the soil will not going to uh, spill out or we're not going to be washed away. You can also use a uh, hessian bag. Yeah, hessian bag will do as well. So I found a bowl guys, a white one just to hold my strainer. Alright, so we can start. So I already taken the PVN from the pot, so it is a rooted one. So all we need to do, guys, is put this one here in this corner like that. I also taken this Milako out of the pot, and I'm going to put it here beside the um, PVN here, right here in the corner. Here you go. So we put our soil. We have the jelly bean. We're going to put here in this corner. And then I have this uh, Ionium kiwi, very colorful. And we can put it underneath here. Tuck it in there underneath. Now that's gorgeous. Okay, and then we have a jelly bean. Again, jelly bean, but this one is pink one. So we can tuck it in there as well. So we have the red jelly bean and then the pink jelly bean. And we need some greenery in this arrangement. How about this beautiful Leticia? Somewhere here, put it here. So there will be a contrast among those very colorful succulents like pink, red, uh, deep brown, purple. Then at least we have some green there to soften up the arrangement. Starburst, Sedivia um, Starburst, gorgeous. So we will put it here. Another pink one. Okay, that's gorgeous. Tuck it in here. So this is um, 
Mylene or either Marcos. So we can tuck it in there and how about that gorgeous beautiful there you go it's really gorgeous beautiful i love that guys so the second arrangement is done it's so gorgeous as well very colorful the yonium kiwi beautiful and we have another sedum here this sedum here is really gorgeous guys and the pvn is right at the back there you go gorgeous okay so let's make the other one. So this is our Agavoids Echeveria Agavoids lipstick. I have this campfire so let's stick the campfire that's the beauty of cuttings you can just stick in there <laughs> just like that easy as that no no fuss um so the various starburst put in here in this corner is marcus or myelin either there you go beautiful color as well stick in there as well gorgeous um Ionium kiwi, but so here's the finished succulent arrangement, guys. Look at this, this is so beautiful, it's gorgeous. Look at the colors and look at this PVN here. It's not heavy, it's just quite light, and those um, green succulents soften up the uh, arrangement because there's too much color in there and this Malacco is beautiful as well this Moscusa adds some um, beauty in this arrangement as well gorgeous now this one here it's almost the same with the first one uh, this jelly pin adds some color in this arrangement as well as this Ionium Kiwi now this one here guys i'm not sure what's the identification but this is a serum and it's really beautiful especially those red tips and those uh green color in the inside of the leaf and we also have some um melaco here or chroma either and we have the pvn beautiful pvn and overall it's really a very beautiful colorful succulent arrangement gorgeous so that's our second arrangement now our last one this is a little bit big and it's quite heavy but i think the this strainer can handle the weight of this arrangement here when we hang it to the wall so look at this um Echevere agavoids lipstick at the moment it's very pale in color and the tip is not so red and because i put this one in a partly shaded area but don't worry in springtime and summertime this will color up and i will put this one in the morning direct sun and this ionium kiwi in this side is so gorgeous it really adds color in this arrangement as well as the purple delight that is very stressed and over this side here look at that color there guys gorgeous beautiful so that's our third and last um, arrangement then I'm going to show you later where I'm going to hang these but for now I'm going to place this arrangement in indirect sunlight with overhead cover since we are still expecting more rain 
to avoid stem rot. I will also leave this arrangement in that area for at least two weeks to callus and I will not water it for that period of time as well and after that two weeks period I will move it to the area where I want to display this arrangement. This area here where I choose to display this arrangement receives full direct sun but for now since we are only transitioning to springtime the sun exposure is not intense and harsh yet so this arrangement will have enough time to adjust before summer comes so here's the overall look guys just very simple but it adds some interesting display in this boring bare fence wall and all of the succulent that i put in this arrangement are sun loving plant just needed to be climatized to allow the plant to adapt to its new environment Just bear in mind, using fresh succulent cuttings needs to callus at least 2-3 to three days before planting or if not, you can plant it straight away using dry soil and not water it at least 2 weeks and place the arrangement in indirect sunlight with protection from rain. So that's it for now guys i hope you like our video and ideas for this weekend and if you're new in my channel you're not subscribed yet please consider to subscribe it will mean a lot to me if you do so and don't forget to hit that notification bell so every time we have a video like this or idea like this you will be notified and you will not miss a thing and also if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and as well as don't forget to leave me a comment in my comment section and i'll get back to you as soon as i can so guys that's it for now and i'll see you next time bye